worldwide fans of cinema, Jaime and Fuego here for Infuegotainment. That's right, the destination here on YouTube where I always cover the hottest entertainment with an edge. And this is one I'm unfortunately a few hours behind because I was finishing some stuff up at the day job before being able to rush home and get this going for you. The episode eight trailer, which was just debuted at Celebration in Orlando. This morning, I rushed right home. I wasn't gonna do that checking it out on my cell phone crap, man. I needed my big television so I can properly just immerse myself in this. And little rest in peace to Han here because we know, well, or at least we suspect that he is not gonna be in uh, episode eight, which is entitled The Last Jedi. We're finally gonna get some Luke Skywalker, little Hamill, as opposed to seeing him with that BA beard and, you know, just standing stoically looking, you know, super BA. But I really enjoyed episode seven. However, I must admit, I liked Rogue One better because of the darker tinge to it. There was just too much, too much recycling of certain plot points in episode seven for me to absolutely adore it like the original trilogy, but compared to the prequels, I mean, it was leaps and bounds above. I loved the new characters in episode seven, though. They were my favorite part, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with Rey and Finn and with Poe and, you know, where the adventures are gonna take them here with Ryan Johnson directing the uh, presumed Empire-like tone for the second in this brand new trilogy. So without further ado, let's get to this. I am stoked, I am an insane Star Wars fan, although I am I'm still a Trekkie as well. I like both. You can cross the streams. It's okay, guys, but let's get to it. I will stop my jibber jabber. The Last Jedi, Episode 8. On delay. Ooh, familiar sounds starting out. Right where we left off. I love it. No jumping around. They had said that this was gonna go just right. It's gonna pick up right where Seven left off. There's the island. Are we is that is that Luke talking? I wonder. Ray getting some training, maybe. Oh yeah, that's Luke for sure. is not yet rated. Presumably will be PG-13, just like the last. Well, um, there was no Chewie We're Home moment, obviously. Once again, rest in peace, Sir Solo. Uh, but this looks badass, you know? I'm not even gonna abbreviate the BA this time. Uh, I, I loved some of the conflict that we got to see. It did seem more darkly tinged, but maybe that's just, you know, the, the color correcting and all that stuff that they're going for. Ryan Johnson, though, to get back to him, he has done, I, I've been a fan of his since Brick, and then Looper was incredible, so he has, he's always put a darker slant on his narratives, so everybody was like, oh, he's the perfect choice for the second in the new trilogy, and we saw plenty of Rey, and so it looks like we're gonna catch up with her doing some training, and then there's gonna be all kinds of other stuff going on uh, while she's doing that and but I mean if we see the Millennium Falcon flying into combat that means that her and Chewie are gonna be getting down flying and you know combating like crazy so I always like to do a little bueno malo and feo here in my trailer reactions just like with my movies and so um, good obviously it looks dark um, they're talking about you know the Jedi must end we gotta 
exterminate them. I think that was, uh, I'm trying to figure out if that was, um, you know, Kylo Ren talking, or if that was, you know, we're still wondering who Benicio Del Toro is going to be playing. If he's going to be, you know, like an old, like a Sith in hiding, or if he's going to be somebody, you know, with the new Imperial First Order, whatever, or if he's going to be a, a good guy, you know, some other Jedi. Nobody knows. He's kind of shrouded his role in secrecy. So, Visually, this looks awesome. Uh, I, I cannot wait for the film, obviously, being a big Star Wars diehard. Um, the the Malo, if I was going to go bad, I, I would have liked to have seen a full-on view of Luke. We definitely did not see that. I would have liked to have seen some Benicio or even like Laura Linney's character, who she's playing. I'm curious if, you know, what side she's going to be on. There's a lot of rumors that she's going to be on that side of the... Uh, I guess whatever the, the Senate has turned into, or you know, um, whatever the Rebellion has turned into, the name's eluding me right now, and I'm gonna get flack from all the Star Wars purists for not recalling off the top of my head. But um, yeah, or the, the Resistance, that's, that's correct. So if she's gonna be more on the political side, you know, kind of butting heads with Princess Leia, and obviously rest in peace to Ms. Carrie Fisher as well in the physical sense, unfortunately. But they did a hell of a tribute for the 40th anniversary from what I was reading uh, at Celebration. You guys can probably check that out somewhere on YouTube. I've heard that the, the uh, just spoken uh, introduction that her daughter did was tremendous. And so, yes, definitely. Uh, it, it's great that we're gonna get to see her in both this and episode nine, but there's been a lot of speculation as to whether, you know, she it, it's gonna be stuff that she filmed for eight and now they're gonna try to inject it into nine. But aside from that, um, the Malo is just the fact that I wanted more. That's the bad. And, uh, you know, just more of certain characters. Like no Mark Hamill directly visible. There's still all these rumors Yoda's going to be in it. Frank Oz kind of let something slip. But if we're going to get to the Feo, the ugly about this is the fact that it's tough to match the wow factor of Chewie We're Home. Just like I said at the beginning, because after so many decades since Return of the Jedi, it was like all of the fans who were young in the 80s like me when the trilogy was first coming out and were just so enamored with it. I must have rented that VHS of Jedi so many times. Not just for the Leia Slave costume, by the way. I loved the Sarlacc pit. I loved all the stuff with Jabba. I loved the Ewoks and the fight on Endor. All the stuff with the Emperor and, you know, shooting lightning out of his fingers. So awesome, man. And so it's tough to match that wow factor of not... That, I mean, being told we weren't going to get a sequel, you know, and then it actually ends up happening. So, yeah, tough to match, but I, it, as a whole, I am immensely excited about this movie. And even though they said it was going to be a teaser, it was still over two minutes, so I'm stoked. I'm so very stoked. So I can extend a grande gracias to all you Enfuegotainment viewers, especially those who have crossed over from the horror show. You're greatly appreciated. I hate to make mention of this again, but I have to on all of my upcoming videos here in April because Enfuegotainment is officially moving from my personal YouTube page, Jaime Enfuego, over to a new channel, simply Enfuegotainment. So youtube.com slash Enfuegotainment is going to be going up on May 1st. I'm going to be Monday through Thursday doing the Nightly Nerd, which I'm still debating if it's going to be a podcast or a video cast. It's going to be just a shorter daily thing, Monday through Thursday, where I go through the biggest nerd news of the day. Just stuff that I think is hot entertainment with an edge that's cool. So it could be fantasy, it could be sci-fi, it could be, you know, comic book stuff. I'm going to leave the horror to, uh, you know, all the work that I do on the horror show, obviously, but everything else, that's going to be the daily news coverage of that. It's something I've planned for quite a while. Can't wait to start sharing that with you guys. Um, weekends are not going to start with additional content until after May because of the fact that we have a ton of work to do for both Mad Monster and for the Phoenix Comic Con for the horror show. So there will be new things added to the plate as time goes on, but I got to extend that. Gracias, once more, I've been Jaime Fuego. You can always find me on all of the social media sectors that I think matter, mostly Twitter. It's where I spend the predominance of my time, but I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and here on YouTube. And the reason for the change, as I mentioned on my previous Thor uh, trailer reaction for Ragnarok, is that I've had so many copyright things with what I used to use the channel for, which was music concert and interview coverage, so many stuff that it's it's just gonna, I, I don't wanna take down all of those videos and so I'm just starting a new channel and moving the Enfuegotainment content from the last two years onto there as well. So once again, Fuego here, gracias to you peeps and until next time that we meet, hasta luego, sin amigos. I'm hoping that we make it sooner rather than later and until then, peace out and may the force be with you.